Thank you to the gentleman from Pennsylvania and uh, the chairman of the Freedom Caucus. Thank you for leading on this issue and thank you for putting together uh, a hearing yesterday so we could hear from people who are on the ground at the southern border. It was so difficult to look these Border Patrol agents in the eye and hear their frustration, to hear their hearts cry, to say that they feel useless in their capacity, in their jobs. They said that they used to work all day and go home feeling like they had accomplished something. But since Biden took office, that's no longer the case. Since January 20th, when the so-called president in the United States canceled construction of the border wall, since then, these men and women have felt like they are not providing a service to the American people. When I was talking with these agents, one thing that they said was, this isn't a resource issue. We aren't here to ask for more money. We aren't here to ask for more personnel or more infrastructure. We just need policy. Policy solves this. Returning to the Trump era policies solves this. Canceling construction of a border wall and still continuing to pay out federal contracts $5 million each day is not solving this problem. Nearly 2 million illegal aliens coming into our country, and that's not even counting the hundreds of thousands of gotaways that are not included in that number. And Madam Speaker, I understand that this is a special order, but I think it would do you and your party a service if you would lift your head and pay attention to what's being said on the House floor of the United States representatives. Maybe that's too much trouble to ask of you, Madam Speaker, but we are here talking about real issues that are impacting America, and you still continue to sit and ignore what I am saying. I think that's very reflective of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle who have ignored what's going on at the southern border, who have ignored the children who are being trafficked by cartel, who have enriched the, the cartel, who have smuggled in enough fentanyl to kill every American at least seven times over. Madam Speaker, this should concern you. As a mother of four boys, this certainly concerns me. And all we need to do is implement policy to secure the southern border. Allow our border patrol agents to do their job. Have someone in the White House who will faithfully execute the law and uphold it. We are here to hold people accountable who are not doing those things. And Madam Speaker, let the record show that you still have not glanced up one time to acknowledge this humanitarian crisis that is taking place in our country.